Uh, so my name is Jason, and today I wanted to uh, talk about AI. Um, so here is the thing. Um, it's been once said that war is too serious a business to be left to the generals, and I think AI is too serious of a business to be left just to the engineers. So the way I was th started thinking about it is because I wanted to make an app uh, that would help uh, Chinese speakers learn English, and this app would be AI-driven. At first, it would be uh, speech scoring using AI, but then, um, you know, it, it's just the beginning. And I think in 10 years, education in general is going to change where we're going to have AI teachers that are going to be very patient, that are going to be very adaptable, that are going to engage with the students and, and guide them like the best teachers uh, that you've ever seen or read about you know, like Socratic teaching. Um, however, what we have now, the, the, the big question comes in, uh, you know, the, these AIs are going to get better the more information they gather about you, the more you interact with them. So my question is, what is going to be happening with all this data? Uh, who's going to own it? How is it going to be controlled? So, because right now what I see is in the West, we have companies like Google and Facebook and uh, others. They just hoovering up that data and they're using it for something. Facebook Australia was boasting how it can um, predict and find out when a teenager is feeling low. So that then to, uh, saying to advertisers, this is the time for you to advertise something so that, that they can... <laughs> Okay, so that they can uh, uh, boost their mood. Uh, okay, so my question is, Taiwan embarks on the ambitious bilingual language program and it's going to uh, have all its students and it wants the civil servants to do it. But my question is, uh, shouldn't Taiwan have its own app? Shouldn't it have like a way of thinking about what's going to be happening to that data. <clears throat> because if there isn't going to be like a, a way to think about these things and who owns the data, people are going to be using all sorts of apps, Chinese apps, which <clears throat> for civil servants, that I believe would be a security risk. So my, my thing is, I think we should all be thinking about AI because it's going to change the future of learning in like 10 years, but it, it's beginning now. Thank you.